Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. Today is all about sun. It's scorching hot outside in Ontario, Canada. We are going to take advantage of this heat and go to the... Where are we going? Uh, beach. I don't want to. Okay. Gabby's at the age where she hates the beach. Because there's no internet at the beach, right? Yes. We got baby bird here. We just brought him down. Oh my gosh, he's so cute now. Tell them what is new with Baby Bird. So, he can see, he can stand. He can see now. And um, he kind of gets scared of us. Because he's like, what are those? So before I used to have to feed him with a syringe, now I can put food in my hand and he's like, oh, there it is. And he gobbles it down. He's so super cute. Right? Yeah. So super cute. Um, so nice thing. Sophie lost a blister. She had a rope burn from loading Stella on the trailer on the weekend. She got scared because Storm was in the trailer and she did not want uh, to go on there with him. And Sophie got her first got rope burn. Yeah, this that's a huge one. Better. Yeah. We cannot do a single solitary thing though until we go down, take care of our horses. Nothing happens in our life anymore until we make sure that the horses are good. And I don't mind it because I love it. People are out there moving their stuff still. Um, Too late. Our horses are already good. Dad and I did. But sport. we have to put them in. It, it, it's going to be scorching hot again today. So we're going to leave them in for the hottest part of the day. So our barn is so much colder than outside. Literally so hot out here like an oven. Like remember in the winter it was freezing cold and we were vlogging and saying like uh, us, the Austra our Australian followers were like it's so hot here and yeah it's super hot here too. Whoa. I am in love with these buckets. Danny the horse girl and Versatile Horsemanship channels when they came for a visit in March, they gave us these and I'm in love with them. Hi Finn. What you doing? Are you tired? Is it too hot out there for you? Definitely a little bit uh, cooler in here. Gabby it rode last night. I'm going to make a video and put it on your channel. What do you think of that? Nah. First time running at night outside in our arena in our outdoor arena but anyway let's bring in our babies Sam has his extension cord to uh, turn the fan over and put them in, put the fan on. They like it. We also have this air conditioner in the back there. You see it? The problem with the air conditioning unit is that the only place we could put it is in this window here. And then it's not going to really cool down. Like if I stand here, you guys can see there's like such a nice breeze coming through. So we're going to leave the doors open. I'll put a fan on so their breeze comes through. And then we're going to head to the beach. But, um, yeah, our horses like to be in when it's this hot out, and, and I like having them in. Abby is uh, braiding Willow's mane off her neck because she's got quite heavy mane. Can feel the wind. Stella can feel the wind? No, you. Right? Yeah. All right, so we got the fan, and it doesn't rotate, but it really, really pushes the air, and there's a big airflow going through. So, if look at Storm, he's like, yes, give me the air. <laughs> We figured he needed it the most, huh? Let's go to the beach. Come on, let's go to the beach, bike girl. Mmm, yummy. This, uh-oh, wait a minute, I can't carry this. This is the new Jolly Rancher. Look, it's got Jolly Ranchers all the way through it. And I got an iced coffee. Baby bird, eat it. Okay, watch you guys. 
He now that he can see. Oh, he might be full. He just gobbles it right off my finger. When I first started feeding him, he, he used to say a syringe. I used to give him a syringe, but now that he can see, he just gobbles it. He's like, give me more. They don't want a close up of him eating. Yes, they do. I don't want it to be like. So now he's getting full. Yeah, he is very full. So see his gullet there? Uh, wait, don't eat my finger, eat the food. Ah! Sometimes we have fails. Are you full? He is so small. So he does turn away when he's full. So this is what I feed him. Actually, this is not what I feed him. I have another thing at home that I bought. This is the stuff I left at the trailer that Shayla bought. Um, it usually is puppy food because it has a lot of calcium in it and they need calcium at this age. But, um, yeah, so it's just regular puppy food. And then I put a little bit of water in it and I mush it and I start out with a syringe. And I syringe it into him and when he's really little and he doesn't know what he's doing. But now that he's big, his eyes open and as soon as his eyes open, he started to see my finger coming in with the food and then he goes and he grabs on and eats. He's really, um... Out of all the birds that we've rescued, he's one of the, same with Romeo and him are the same. He's really strong and like a take charge kind of bird. I love him. So here he is. He, when he's full, he backs up. See what he's doing? When I put my hand in, he like tries to get away from me instead. He's like saying, I'm full, I can't take any more. And he's really good about that. Yeah, he always poops on me. But look at how pretty his feathers are turning blue. He's got like a blue, like a turquoise color feathers on him. And he's actually that tiny. Like, he looks big on the camera, but he's so, so, so tiny. That's my finger. He's going to be a tiny bird like Romeo was, look not a big finger. bird. Yeah, like he's like not basically as as like finger. as big as, yeah, her first, to her first knuckle. But he is so sweet. I love him looking around. Say hi. Can't wait till he can eat Cheetos. Say hi, baby. Doesn't he kind of look like a mallard duck in the camera? Like with the blues and the black? He's so cute. You're so handsome. He's looking at you guys. He's like, who are they? All right, we got our beach, uh, or we got our pool side okay, set up. Sam, hold our spots. We'll be right back. Gabby and I are gonna go check and see if the pool, if the beach is open. We think the beach is open because we see people taking chairs down. Woohoo! I love when the beach is open because then half the people stay at the beach and half the people go at the pool, so the pool's never crowded. No, the pool is always so crowded. Really cold? I hate how slippery it gets. Oh, it's actually nice now. Only a little frozen. I love it. Okay, it's not too bad. That's not bad. First time in the lake. Go ahead, do it. Go. I'm not going in. Beach better too. But I just want to get warm with us. Cool. Cool. All right, we are back at the beach because the pool was getting full. But look at how big, how full the beach is getting. I wonder how long it's been open for. We got our umbrella. We got our blow up person. This is the person that blows up all of our floaties. We got Gabby out there and believe it or not, I'm gonna be swimming out there. 
all the pollen and stuff has been kind of collecting in the water. That's what that is from the trees. It happens every year at this time. I'm going to be going out there in a few minutes and floating with the girls. Do you guys remember what we bought last year? What amazing floaty that we bought that we absolutely love? Comment below if you guys remember. It's white. That's the only clue I'm going to give you and it's gigantic. Anyways, we're at the beach and uh, that's pretty much it. I'm waiting to go home though because I have to check on the workers and make sure they're getting rid of all the stuff. So he's got a wand. I found it in the water. You found a stick in the water and it's a wand? It's oh. always a wand. So stoked we are getting done. Bags packed to we're on the run today. Literally, it is so hot. Look at, can you guys see the smog? Sam, I can see your Joe Boxer underwear. <laughs> That's never happened before. Um, so we're done swimming. Are we ready to go home? No. You're gonna go for a bike ride? I'm gonna jump. Oh. What they do at the trailer when they're done swimming and done hanging out at the beach is they jump. That's just what they do. But I'm hot again. Like I think I'm gonna have to go back to the beach. Like that's how hot out it is. Can you go get me a water? Oh, thanks. I'm lazy. <laughs> you are lazy. <gasps> so funny. Here have mine. That's how lazy she is. Oh, yep. reasons I like being at the trailer is because the girls go away at home there's no place for them to go they're always with me every single second at the trailer they go away and it's like so fun for me to have quiet just for like two months out of the year for like 10 minutes each day yeah I don't use socks so see those sneakers Gabby's has they have wheels in the bottom of them they're wheelies heelies I took them out she took them out so now there's like dirt and horse poop in there oh yeah that's great. Ah, Sam just put on his shirt and he shook it out and he's like, I have hay in my shirt. And I'm like, yeah, that means you have horses. And it's funny because I love being at the beach. I love being here. I love spending time here. But I love being at home too. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, our house, our little farm is kind of a big mess right now and it's still in a process of making it nice. And I love being there more than I ever loved being at our old house. It's just crazy to me how God it gives you signs for where you're meant to be in life. Like if bad things are happening and there's a lot of stress, that means God's trying to push you to make a change. Or if you feel so peaceful or and at ease where you are, that means that you're probably exactly where you're meant to be. And I love that. I love that we have an opportunity to look for signs and know where we're meant to be in life. Hey you guys, this is our first haul in a long time. Show me. Sophie, what did you get? Gabby got red goggles. I, got I only fit goggles. I only fit adult ones and it says 14 and up. And I'm 12. And you picked red because your horse color is red. You picked pink because my horse color is pink. My horse color. I still love pink. 
I know, just joking. That is our tack haul for the week. Remember when we used to do tack hauls all the time? Yeah. One, we don't need as much stuff anymore. And two, like I said, our tack hauls are chiropractors and farriers and, and hay horse and horse shows and yeah, all that stuff. Those are what replaced our tack hauls. cold my feet were frozen and then we step outside actually it's cool here like it's not so hot hi lion, hi, lion. watch him he's gonna tiger. jump no <laughs> hello tiger why so we drove down as soon as we got home because we're always so excited to see our horses oh it's cold in here wow what a difference Hi Stella. Yeah, you guys much better inside, huh? It was so hot outside today. It was probably like 110 degrees. That's why it's probably about 105. Hi Storm. Oh, it feels so good. Yeah, don't look. Don't look at the feet. Um, since I don't have proper shoes, Daddy's gonna leave both of them to field, but I'm bringing. Storm out. This is what it's like, you guys. This is the real truth about owning horses. Everything you do, they have to be taken care of first and last. Always. It's cold here. Sam, it's so cold here. No, it's windy. So uh, these beautiful boys are going to go eat grass. Storm obviously had a nap. kept them inside like I love when you make a decision and then you realize it was seriously one of the best decisions can I let the girls out our friends stay we'll take a look at today they all join it's great we're really on our way yeah right here we go now, no, said, the day's the day that all our friends will join that's what it's all about. We are here for fun. We want to all to join our club. Let's get together. Party all together. Party all day long and party all the night. No stop. Let's get together. Party all together now. change and it's been two full days they worked on it holy cow the people that like the people that used to own this house were are older and they had people coming to help them and then they didn't show up so yeah it's gonna be a super long haul I thought like we were gonna move in and by the end of the summer this property is gonna be amazing but it's not gonna be like that and it could make me crazy but one thing I've learned more than any other thing on earth is that there's a time for every single thing, like a time for everything, and nothing happens until it's meant to happen, and so who am I to say, like, get upset, right? Look at there's thin hair, thin hair. We have to do water, fill the water, get everything ready for nighttime before we can go home, before we can go in the house, and then uh, once we get in the house, we have to wait till it's grain time, and then we have to come back, bring them all in, Throw more hay because you know we divide it. what my favorite part of being on the ground with the horses is? What? Picking off scabs because it's fun. Yeah, like if we didn't have storm, we would have no scabs to pick. Holy cow, it's like windy. It's going to storm. It's actually going to storm. Storm? <laughs> it's gonna anyway, it's true that when you have horses at home, it, you have to do all the work before you can do anything else with your life the only thing that's really that makes it easy is the fact that it's enjoyable work like it's never like um 
it never feels bad, maybe in the winter, it never feels bad, it never feels like it feels enjoyable. It, it, it's like such enjoyable work to care for them. I don't understand. I don't know how to explain it, but I know that most horse people feel it because people who have horses, I don't know how to explain it, but it is so worth it. So grateful. Anyway, that is it for today's video. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.